Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess A. Chelsea, and welcome to Stair Quest. This is a somewhat homage to the 8 bit King's Quest genre of the past, where we're playing as a couple of adventurers trying to save the world in 8 bits, which probably means we're going to die a lot due to ridiculous controls and probably some terrible word typing interface. And probably a very simple storyline, so let's see what happens! The realm of Castle's Wood is in despair, as famine, war, disease, and natural disaster wreak havoc upon the land. Good King Jonathan seeks the counsel of a wise old soothsayer. Seek ye out the Orb of Stars, she tells King Jonathan. Says the King, the Orb of Stars is but a legend. The soothsayer replies with a sly grin. Even in legend may one find the truth, my lord. So King Jonathan dispatches his bravest knight, Sir Devon, to quest for the fabled orb of stars. Little does he know that his own daughter, Princess Ingrid, has also set out in search of the legendary relic. It's already starting off on a good foot. So we are off to find this orb of the stars. But where is this orb of the stars? I'm assuming it's going to be something with stairs. Oh, cool, I can choose my adventure. All right, so let's see. We got Ingrid, the princess, whose special abilities are archery, and a noblest oblige. And then we got Devon, whose special abilities is edged weapon bonus chivalry. I think I'm gonna go with Ingrid, just because I can. Welcome to StairQuest! Use the arrow keys to move your character. You can interact with the world using our Say the Art text parser. For instance, try entering Look Stairs or Talk Stairs. Pressing Escape to escape the game options. Good luck on your quest to retrieve the Orb of the Stars, brave Ingrid. I gotcha. Oh, okay, that was a- whoops! We're already off to a good start. Yay! Thanks for playing! Next time be more careful. Well, I already see we're off to a very good start. Can I skip this? I can. Good. Alright, so how do I save? Do I just type? Save. The only thing you're here to save is the kingdom in peril. And of course you're on Sandy. We recommend stair climbing. It does a good spirit good. So what? Am I not allowed to save? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is gonna... This is gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm already getting the... Oops! Well, thanks. <laughs> Be more careful. Please tell me there is actually a save option. I mean, it even suggests in the manual that comes with this game that uh, you're supposed to... essentially... save every 45 seconds, so... Alright, let's just save really quick here. Save. Here. How well, would you like to describe the save game? Torture. Game save with description torture. Cool. Alright, let's do this. Whoop. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Ingrid. She is going to have a massive concussion by the end of this. But this is the fun of the King's Quest games back when you only had a very little bit to deal with. Just saying. Okay, well, back to torture. Okay. Whoop. Okay, keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, don't know! <laughs> oh, for you, those of you who did not grow up in this era, aren't you happy now? <laughs> okay, up, down, up, down. One, two. Keep in step. Keep in step. Whoop. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going up the stairs! Yay! Stairs! I'm definitely getting my exercise. I shall retrieve the orb of stars and prove to my father that I am the equal of any man in the realm. Oh, you're one of those princesses, aren't you? Okay, well, quick, save again! Because, uh, we need to keep going. Alright, oh! Too far! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, I caramba, I'm gonna die a lot. Actually, let's actually play around with some of the controls. Uh, one thing they suggested in the manual was flirt. You don't want the stairs getting jealous, do you? Who am I? Who are they gonna get jealous of? Okay, let's uh, dance. Why don't you just try dancing up the stairs instead, Ginger Rogers? Hey, 
I know who that is. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Up to, up to, up to. We're going up the stairs. We're going up the stairs. We're going up the stairs. How's this say? Read. You need some reading material. Recommend Quest Action, the magazine for action questers. This month's issue features an in-depth article on noxious text parsers. Okay, fine. Look. The shadows of night blanket the mountainside in a cerulean hue. Flickering torches illuminate your path, casting their light upon an engraved silver plaque mounted into the stone wall. Somebody had fun writing that. Okay, fine. Read plaque. It says short line, longer line, longer line, two shorter lines, longer line, three longer existing lines, and it's signed by Ken Williams. Which, if you don't know, Ken and Roberta Williams are the ones who created the King's Quest series. Even if they are strangely proud of the Mask of Eternity, which is a terrible game in the King's Quest series. Alright, ups a daisy, whippin' a going, we're walking, we're walking, we're going. More stairs? No matter. I must continue my climb. The orb beckons to me. Alright, so let's save again. Let's save it again. We're making more torture. Yay! Oh, this looks fun. Look how tiny it is. Alright, let's look around this area first. The stairs wend their way through this cave that may once have been a mine. Precious gems line the walls. The corpses of failed adventurers sit at the foot of the deep ravines. I would say so. This is ridiculously narrow. Okay. God, I'm getting flashbacks to the stairs in, in King's Quest 4. Four. Oh my god, those stairs are ridiculously thin. And they're spiral, too, so even better. Oops. Pixel perfect precision is key. By the way, is there a reason you chose an owl for your logo? Are you trying to say you're Cedric the Owl? Because if that's the case, I could believe it, because that owl was a pain in the ass. Look out, Graham! A poisonous snake! Ingrid, look out! A poisonous stair! Yeah, I made it up to the top here. I'm gonna save here, because, uh, otherwise I'm gonna keep torturing myself. I think I chose a perfect name for this. Alright, keep going. Ah! I clipped right through the stairs on that one. Look! Gems. This appears to be yellow spinel. Spinel is the magnesium aluminum member of the larger spinel group of minerals. It has the formula MgAl204 in the cubic crystal system. Its name comes from Latin spina, arrow. By the way, because I shoot an arrow. Shoot arrow. Sorry, but you left your fantasy gun in your other fantasy pants. Damn it. I probably also left my bag of infinite holding, too. Oh well. Time to climb up the stairs some more. Whoop. By the way, can I, uh... Can I take a gem? Probably not. I bet you I don't have a pickaxe or anything. I'd probably need a pickaxe to do that. Ah, oh, Nearly there. Well, I was nearly towards the non-stary bit, but... Hey, what are you gonna do? By the way, I only have two of five hundred. How long does this go on? Take gem! All the precious stones are embedded into the wall. There's no shifting them. Besides, if you follow the stairs, a greater fortune awaits. Yeah, the orb of the stars. Which is supposedly gonna help save my kingdom. Why do I have a feeling that this whole game is just a troll game and I get up to the top and there's gonna be nothing there? I wouldn't be surprised in the least. Just out of random curiosity. Win game! The only way to win this game is to see it through. As we all know, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. In this game, that journey is up some stairs. Uh, this developer's got a sense of humor. Okay, fine. Fly upstairs. That would make things easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's like they knew that people were gonna be as crazy to do it. Okay, uh, walk up stairs. Oh, no, 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 you have perfectly good arrow keys to use them. Oh, this developer is funny. You're a funny person. Uh, um, call Graham. Run that by me one more time. Okay. 
Um, call for help. That is not clear. Okay. Uh, Cedric. Can you phrase that in terms of ye old parser might understand? Okay. Uh, uh, let's see, what else can I say? Um, burp. You'll have a fantastic belcher and your belly instantly feels more calm. Woohoo! Fart. A true hero holds it in until the quest is completed. <laughs> I like these guys. It's like they know how crazy you're gonna be. Alright, back to stair climbing then. I should mention how much I actually like the music of this. It's very catchy. Oops. But very disheartening when you fall. <laughs> Just saying. Uh... Too bad I can't skip this damn owl. I'm starting to dislike it. <laughs> Just like Cedric. Yes! Up the stairs! Stairs! Ooh, so many stairs. Why does it all mean? Am I being tested by someone? Something? Is the developer just dicking with me? Most likely. Hey, this actually kind of looks like the, uh... The stairs for King's Quest 3, I believe, when you're riding from the Yeti. Or one of those. I don't know, they all kind of blend in together after a while. Alright, well, let's save again. Torture! And it is definitely torture. Alright, fine. Let's look around this area, too. Look! A circuitous path winds its way up and through the mountain. You have a lovely view of the ocean from this vantage point. Which probably means I'm gonna end up falling in there. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Let's do this. Boop. You know, you think, uh, these people who made these stairs would... I don't know, uh, could... Oh, okay, that was... It looked fine from where I was standing, but okay. But yeah, you think they would put some railings or something in this place. Okay, so don't touch that little bit over there. This actually seems a bit easier than the other one, but we'll see. I'm sure something's gonna happen. Huh. It was a boulder. That was interesting and rather precarious. But I survived that. Probably if I stood under that, I would've been bad. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Each step brings me closer to my goal. Perhaps. I've only got four, so I don't know. Well, let's save here, too. More torture. Because torture is torture. Alright, let's look at this place. This looks pretty. You're walking along the parapet of an ancient fortress. The color scheme looks straight out of the Black Cauldron. Yeah, that's true, and I believe there was an actual 8-bit Black Cauldron game as well, which is also an inspiration for this game, as well as the original, um, the original King's Quest games. It really is amazing what they did at the time with what little technology they had. Alright, easy. Oh. Well, considering I'm not doing terrible. <laughs> uh. Also, gotta admit, I like the little scene right there up top with clouds, where you can see the colorings. That's really cool. And also, also I should mention, this was made in Adventure Game Studios, the same uh, program that Yahtzee used to create Five Days a Stranger and all the Chizo Mythos games. I think he did it for a few other different games, too, but those are the big ones that people probably remember him by, but yeah, it's really cool where you can make your games. Yeah, technically I wasn't that far off from the other area. Chances are I could have just fallen and landed on the stairs below me and there wouldn't have been any problems, but not in these games. I still recall, I believe, in the majority of the King's Quest games, you could actually just die from just a few feet, so yeah. These games were definitely not forgiving in the past. You know, as the story keeps progressing up and up and further in, I'm beginning to think that uh, all those little special things that, uh, that Ingrid and Devon have in, well, not in comparison as such, but I almost feel like their little special abilities aren't gonna matter much in the long run. Whoops. 
Oh, to be fair, I fell on the other side. Not the forward side, but still, it's kind of silly in the long run. Okay. Hoo 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 Did it. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Say the word enough times and it hardly sounds like a word anymore. Stairs. 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 You know, I think Ingrid might be losing her mind just as much as we are. Holy cow, that's a lot of cats! Good god, man! There's even a lion! Am I gonna have to avoid all these cats? Jeez, I'm even walking into the mouth of a freaking cat! Well, this is weird. Torture cats. Catchy music, though. I think this one is self-explanatory. Yeah. Cats. Lots of cats. Am I gonna have to avoid all these cats? Good god, there's so many of them. <laughs> Apparently, the cats are dicks. I just realized I named my thing Torture Cats. That's not an indication to torture actual cats. Just saying. Alright, so... Oops. But it is also kind of proving my point that cats are kind of dicks. Also, the one cat almost looks like a pony the way it's designed. I wonder. Pet cats. You try to ingratiate yourself with the little felines. They seem uninterested in your diplomatic advances, though. Feed cats. You're already feeding your need for adventure. Isn't that enough? Apparently not. Uh, meow? You can't do that. At least not meow. Ah, see what you did there. Okay. Uh, call dog. Run me by that one more time. Uh, dog. I'm overwhelmed by your vocabulary. Can you dumb it down a little? Um, throw chop. Leave it where it is. That's a reference. If you get that reference, you are awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, I barely touched that cat. Um, can I sing the cats to sleep? You are unfamiliar with the song. Perhaps you would like to try some favorites among your fellow heroes, like Ode to My Sword or I Am a Handsome Warrior. Right. I'll, I'll, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Okay, let's save here. Let's just call it Cats. Because otherwise I'm just going to keep thinking of torturing cats and I don't want anyone to think that. Because I love my cats. I love cats in general. Yeah! The air thins, my legs burn, yet I continue for my king. If you say so, Ingrid. Oh, this looks fun. Oh god, what's that horrible sound? Ah! My ears! Oops. Alright, fine. Let's look around this area. Honestly, you're not quite sure what you're looking at here. There's a desert, a couple of massive vines extending skyward. Oh, some creepy looking stairs snaking their way through the landscape. Just go with it. Okay. This looks horrifying. I mean, and the music. Oh my god, what is with this music? It sounds like someone's just, like, blaring an alarm in your ear, like, Bee you, be you, be you, be you. Nearly there. Hopefully. Huh. Oh god, there's a gator! In the desert? That seems kind of unproductive. Oh. There's an eyeball, too. What the hell is going on in this place? Jeez. Confound these infernal stairs. Every one I send, a thousand more vex me. Oh, now it's raining. And, uh, um... This looks like, a uh, like the back of a giant. Just saying. Uh, giant? Okay, look at this one. You stand atop the eternal giant. Drops of rain dance off its chiseled features. I remember reading stories of this colossal statue as a child. It is one of seven gargantuan monuments spread across the realm left behind by an ancient race whose origins remain shrouded in mystery. 
Somehow this will be canon with Shadow of the Colossus or something. Alright, uh, can I talk to Giant? Talk to Statue? Sup? Okay. Sure. I like the rain effects. It actually looks like little bits are falling off of it. That's pretty neat. But this looks fairly simple, so I don't think I'm going to have as much trouble climbing this one as I have others, but I could be wrong before. Hey, that one was actually pretty easy. I must continue my climb. The orb of stairs can't be much farther. I don't know. Hey, there's a llama. Cool. Or an alpaca. Either one. Let's just call it... Llama. Demon llama, probably. Look. You're scaling a verdant mountain high above the clouds. A llama looks on silently, judging your every step. It is a llama. Cusco, is that you? No touchy. Alright. This doesn't look too bad. But I'm expecting some kind of twist. Alright, let me just move over here. Because I have a feeling that llama is going to cause me trouble. Talk. To Lama. You politely ask the Lama if it knows where you can find the Orb of Stars. It responds with a strange noise you can only assume means no in Lama speak. Maybe it just burped at you. Who knows? Oh well. The Lama's not doing anything, so that's a plus. But so far, this isn't terrible. Okay, keep moving. Keep climbing. Step by step, I've come closer to reaching the top. Every step must be placed so that I don't fall off. Oh god! Why am I in an N.C. Escher painting all of a sudden? Crap. This is not going well. Alright, fine. Escher. Look. Doors and stairways expand in every direction, stretching out into infinity. Where do they all lead? You can feel the unmistakable essence of magic in the air. David Bowie, is this where you ended up after you died? You went and did Labyrinth all over again? I hope so. Oops. Dance, magic dance. <laughs> right into death. Where'd I end up? Oh, I'm over here now. Okay. Catchy music, I'll give you that. Ah, why? No, don't go here. Also, it stopped on me and I died. <laughs> Thanks, game. You dicked me over right as I died. I appreciate that. I'm over here now. Wee! Papa! Catchy music. I will give you that. Okay, now I'm over here. Oops. I kind of liked the catchy music. It was a it was a nice deviation. Now I'm over here. Am I anywhere closer to where the hell I'm going? I don't even know. I must continue my climb. The orb of stairs can't be much farther. I don't know. It's debatable. And what the hell am I in now? Ice. Look. You emerge into an ice-covered landscape. A set of frosty stairs wind their way, dizzyingly towards the exit. While seeing your own breath in the icy wind reminds you that you are alive. There's still a sinister air hanging above this ominous place. Yodel? Nope, no reason to do that. Okay. Ah, uh, oh boy. Careful, this path is slippery. Oh. I see. Alright, so this time I'm not going to be able to do a constant stopping and starting. Because otherwise I go flying. So, just a continuous stream of movement. Ah, Yeti. Great. As if this can't get any better. There's a Yeti. Great. So I kind of have to move a little fast here. Oops. The Yeti is judging me. So, I have to actually slide a little bit to go faster, otherwise I'm going to be Yeti Chow. And I don't have a custard pie to throw in his face. Got it! Oh, I skipped dialogue. Damn it. Oh, well, I'm guessing it was just whining about more stairs again. Either way, uh, let's save here. This looks different. Uh, end game, perhaps? Alright, let's look. It seems only four colors. Magenta, cyan, black, and white are capable of 
thriving at such high altitudes. CMYK! Cool. Alright, so let's see here. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. That, that's a very narrow stair, but I think that is end goal. Although I question why I only have 11 points. Is it supposed to be I'm supposed to get through this without either saving or dying? Because that would be kind of dickish. Alright, I made it to the top here. So... And... Okay. Look. Orb. Time and space seem to bend around the legendary orb of stars. Take orb. As you reach out to grasp the orb of stars, you hear a booming voice emit from the sphere. You have not yet proven yourself worthy, stair child. You must return to where you began your ascent if you wish to claim your prize. With a bright flash of light, the orb of stars disappears. You turn around, breathe a weary sigh, and begin your descent. I gotta go all the way back down? Are you kidding me? After all that, I gotta go all the way back down. Really? Oh dear god, I knew that there was a twist at this. Alright, fine. Not end. Alright, back up. Back I go then.